going to the develop module um, and we're just going to start with what are we taking um, here a shot from the Louvre in uh, Paris. Uh, we've been there last year and uh, I have my master collection um, already loaded up here um, and let's see what it does. If you uh, go through you can check what it does to the picture. Um, I for, for all those uh, city shots um, I usually love to either use the Natura or Overachiever. Let's check this one out. It's really great. Um, it has a lot of strong um, tones and a lot of strong colors. Um, I will uh, go down uh, with the highlights here as well. Um, add maybe a little contrast, maybe a little more temperature. Um, get a gradient mask from down here. Add a little clarity. Um, add maybe a little gradient mask from down here, add a little warmth, a little dehaze, and pull this down here. Uh, actually, see that I have, oh my god, there are, those are spots on my sensor. And I had it already cleaned, but you can get rid of them really fast and easy. We're not gonna bother too much. Um, and maybe a little mask and highlight couple of these areas and I'm pretty happy I have to say it, it was what 20 seconds amazing the overachiever it does what it does um, let's do one more of the overachiever um, a shot from New York uh, I've posted this on my Instagram um, I love the shot, it's, uh, it's from Midtown Manhattan. Uh, let's click on the overachiever. Uh, you see a lot of uh, orange and teal uh, tones. I basically don't even have to do anything for this picture. It's a one uh, click stop. Um, I will add still a slight uh, gradient mask here to highlight this. Um, wonderful, one click, amazing. What's next? Uh, maybe um, a shot from Bali. Um, I know um, this one's good for Natura. Uh, I fashioned this after one of my favorite photographers, a short stash. Um, uh, I took a lot of inspiration from him. Um, one click, amazing, gives you a lot of those. Uh, makes the greens very orangey, um, just a wonderful shot. Maybe here a little more uh, gradient here, wonderful. Um, here uh, a wedding shot, uh, Annika, we, that's, this wedding was last year. Um, let's check what the master portrait does, maybe a little too dark. Light portrait, let's click on that. Looks great, highlights maybe a bit down then uh, adding a bit more of exposure, uh, maybe a little crop, we're done. Um, here a shot of my wife in, uh, in Bali, let's check what, uh, what we can do here. Oh, that's too dark, the light portrait works again. Oh, the dreamer looks good, or the retro. Uh, let's check what the retro does. It's really, as the name says, a retro feeling. Um, it looks really, Fantastic, we'll add a little temperatures and maybe another gradient. By now you see that I love working with gradients. Uh, maybe a little bit of clarity. Oh my god, wonderful shot. She looks great, gives you one tone. Let's do let's do another one um, of this. Um, and let's take what do, what do we have here? Maybe the overachiever too much. The easy, also not really good. Um, let's get the dreamer in and turn it down a little. Gives you wonderful um, dreamy feeling. Looks good. Maybe another shot from uh, from Bali. Uh, let's check the overachiever. Ooh, that's a lot of hard tones. Natura looks great. One click um, and we're done. Looks great. The blues look great. 
Um, the greenish stuff goes into the orangey. Love it already. Um, here's my wife uh, at the Ruperti Kirtag festival in Salzburg. This is, I know this shot because I love it. It's the Dreamer. Uh, look at that, one click. Uh, I go back once again without shot in raw. Doesn't look really great. The Dreamer comes in and uh, looks wonderful. It gives um, the skin tones a nice, wonderful feeling. Um, the blues are nice and yeah, obviously she's beautiful, but uh, makes also the whole uh, picture with one stop fantastic. I, I love this. I think it's one of my favorites. From here, let's take a shot from Salzburg. This is my hometown. Uh, this, let's check the light portrait, looks great. The retro we had, what about the classic? Let's check the classic. Classic looks good. Little gradient mask from the top is, on the top it's a bit brighter. And able a profile correction here maybe. A lens correction, looks great. A little mask here. Wonderful, great shot. That was the classic, um, shot from another wedding this year in Vienna, let's check for the Dreamer, looks awesome, super contrast, number six, we didn't have that one, let's try this. Super contrast, as the name says, um, very desaturated, makes the skin tones very brownish, dark, but I love it, gives, uh, gives it a good tone, um, my photography is anyway a little more on the moodier side. Looks great, let's do a virtual copy and I want to show you this one and also in the white black, so my black and white filter. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I use it for about uh, five years, I think the same black and white filter. This is just great. Uh, let's roll over again to New York City. What is still on the list? The easy. Let's do this one. The name says it, one click before, after, little gradient from below and I think it was sunrise so let's add a little temperature here, ah looks great. Um, another one from the, the same morning, let's scroll through it, bit too dark, the light portrait looks great, um, let's go for this one again, light portrait. Fantastic, let's get the highlights a bit down, maybe a little more dehaze or contrast or whatever you want. And we have a wonderful picture. Um, if you want, I can show you um, another little uh, trick that one of my dear friends, Nuriel, uh, uses a lot. You put the radial filter, invert it, add a little warmth here and maybe a little dehaze, get a little a little more blacks and you can fashion the sun after this. So with the filter, without the filter, with it, just leave it like that. Fantastic. For street style shots, I love the retro. One click makes it cool. Let's crop it in nice and tight. Great. Um, let's jump into the, the master portrait here is Vicky uh, shot her this year uh, for collaboration. She's a blogger as well. Let's click on the master portrait. Ooh, that looks amazing. The master portrait is very dark. You can uh, take up the, the shadows if you want a little, but I like it. The skin tones just look great. Uh, you want to be underexposed a little one, a little bit for this one. And uh, one stop. Let's go before, before, after, amazing. Another shot of Vicky, same thing. Let's go for the master portrait, really a bit too dark. Bring back up the exposure a bit, fantastic. Let's do the same, um, the same one with the light portrait. Works also, maybe not so much for the skin tones. Ah, uh, but still not too bad. I go back again. Uh, the Dreamer works here too, maybe a little strong on the reds. 
you can bring it up a little. Wonderful, love it too. Let's bring it back once again. Let's go for a classic is a bit too much. The easy looks awesome. Bring it back a little more of the yellows. Looks good as well. And uh, to clean it all out, we're gonna use the black and white. Bump up the exposure a bit. Maneuvering the crop. Great. Is there anything more? Ah, yeah, let's take this shot. It's in Paris. It's on that uh, fabulous and uh, wonderful basketball court. Um, tried the, the master portrait. If you, if you use it, a little dark here with an easy gradient. Looks fantastic. I love it. Let's try a different one. So the overachiever. Ooh, those colors look great. Love it, maybe a bit too much. Bring down the saturation, one stop. Um, even greater. Let's go back again. Let's try, the Natura doesn't work here. Black and white, very cool. I love it. Yeah, um, pretty stoked about those presets. I've taken it around a lot, but I am always amazed on how many different ways you can use them. Here's a drone shot, let's, let's do one from Neca Island, a trip last year. Uh, master portrait looks great, light portrait looks great, the dreamer looks great, the retro, oh that looks good! Retro looks great, the classic is great, super contrast, ah, a bit much but still works, black and white works for me, the Natura, let's check. Ah, uh, no, 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 Natura doesn't work on this one, but the overachiever brings it home. Here we go, new gradient mask as well here. Amazing, let's go to the before and after. On the left without the, the overachiever, on the right with the overachiever. Um, one click and you're good to go. So guys, as you see, those presets are super easy to use. They're fun. Uh, we love to use them ourselves. We would love for you to show us how you use them. So if you purchase them, thank you so much. Uh, even only for mobile or for the desktop as well, show us how far you take them. We're excited to see them. Uh, let's rock this 2020 together. Hope to see you very, very soon. Bye.